But all right. So the boys has dropped an, uh, their season four uh, trailer. Obviously, I have seen the boys for the first time. I went through like that whole run of season one to three, like very fast. And all I could say is that Homelander, uh, he's not my favorite character out of this bunch. Because... Uh, uh, I don't know. I I just don't find the appeal of him. Like, yes, there's some people that are saying, but but what about this moment? And what about this moment? Yeah, he still doesn't get my attention for uh, my favorite character out of the whole bunch from The Boys. But obviously, um, if you have watched it, let me know who is your favorite character um, down in the comments. And yeah. And obviously, if you're hearing background sound, obviously that is not coming from me. Uh, just to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, let's check this out for season four. All I will say that this is a very something else of a superhero Grace. Um, place. All democracies fail. Because people are fucking stupid. Damn. Starlight. There she is. With the boy, the Huey. Who your and monuments? if I'm talking about it, then obviously I'm just mentioning it. And it goodness, came. Deep. You're going with your same bull crap again. Uh, I do not like Deep as well. Boy. Deep is just weird. Tear it apart themselves. Oh. Just a so they're having like a fight. A civil fight. Then Between the, the Starlight followers and the Homelander followers. And all he wants is chaos. Like Caesar. Like Caesar. And he's indoctrinating his kid way more in this season. What the hell? What? Oh, hell. There's a clone? A parasite? What the? Your team. What's your code name again? The boys. Oof. The boys. Who came up with that shit? Hey, it's the one that's um, from Walking Dead. He's here. And he's probably killed someone. Well, damn. So obviously Homelander's gonna try to bring chaos with his followers that he has. He's gonna try to indoctrinate his son to become the next Homelander Jr. And be the most conniving asshole that there is because that's what they see him as as a conniving asshole um but obviously he is free in this whole season and obviously there's chaos going in with some more uh superheroes with some weird powers and also there's a parasite apparently <laughs> but if you haven't seen the boys i definitely recommend you to check it out it is gonna be a little bit out of your comfort when it comes to superheroes because it's not marvel it's not dc but this universe is definitely something else and i definitely recommend it and you will see you you might fall in love with some of the characters that they have because they're actually pretty good and also um also watch gen v because it's also a sub story and it follows through with what's going on in here so obviously i do recommend the boys and gen v after that so damn i'm excited now for season four it looks like it has a good premise of where it's going Let's go.